We're leading into an episode where I hope a battle against the Archer guy is going to happen. Last episode was more about learning about our retainers, the side, the forces that we have. 10,000 fully enthusiastic non-paid actors. Fantastic. Now, there is the final guy at the end who seems to be really good at shooting the bow. And that kind of like contrasts with how elusive and fast we are at dodging. How is he? Like, if he's a guy that never misses, that's going to be a very interesting matchup. Let's begin today's reaction. This dude! Right, because Takauji backstabbed us and sided with the enemy opposition, and now he's getting rewarded by that opposition. <laughs> However, my retainers behind us are much too pure of heart. Oh, they are pure, all right. Purely fucking evil. Yeah. Basically, the people of this Imperial Court is now going to get replaced by Takauji's men slowly but surely. Now, the person behind this, you know, door is the Emperor himself, right? Or whatever the leader of the opposition is. Something about this, like, already reminds me of, like, you know, us, this, you know, Gojo Satoru here. You know, his light stuff going on, anyways. <laughs> I wonder if it's really gonna go that way. I think a lot of the people here are very naive. The dude was willing to fucking backstab his own people to get ahead. Why don't you think that he would do it again with you fucking idiots? The way that the people here on, you know, the, uh, the opposition side are so positive about this. It's just setting up disaster for the future, right? And yes, that is pretty privileged. Takauji is so fucking hot and charismatic. He can just get away with everything. That's just imagery. That's just imagery, right? Because, like, so far, the Takauji face, whenever I see him, sorry, I gotta replace my headset, but this is a good opportunity to do it while monologuing. Takauji's face, even in episode one, there was something so fanatic about it. When I looked into his eyes, I could, like, see this unlimited ambition, but also some sort of abyss, almost demonic like. And last episode, we saw, or the uncle, sorry, two episodes ago, you saw the, the imagery depicting him so demonic. And now Takauji here. Bro is looking like fucking, what's his name? Yiwa? You remember? From Bleach? The Thousand Blood Your Award arc? Like, what the fuck is this? Huh. Hmm. I think that his retainer is gonna betray him, maybe? That look from his assistant doesn't seem too good. The arrows again! Takauji-sama. So the dude we saw at the end of the last episode is now the governor of Shinano, okay? Look at those fleas. Ew. Sniff the fleas out? Ew. Ew. Mix. This dude from that distance, his eye? His perception, his observation hockey is so high and acute to the point he can tell the sexes of the ticks. That's a one way to glaze his vision. Wow. Okay. What's his name? Sadamune Ogasawara. I wonder if he's an actual figure in history of Japan, but like, okay, bro's got crazy eye. <laughs> yeah, he weak as shit. But remember, force is mass times acceleration. He is good at striking when he's like running around and getting a lot of momentum and speed and then coming down with gravity. Or else he can't hit for shit. 
時行様の筋肉は美をしている。結果、へっぴり腰で刀を振る。Yeah, like, look. He's literally backing away as he fucking strikes forward. いや、それは逆効果だ。攻撃の筋肉を鍛えすぎると。Okay, I thought he was gonna say something else, sussy. As soon as he started to grope him, not grope, started to massage his back, I thought he was gonna talk about the muscle qualities of, like, you know, how fucking Kanansuki Kyohei would talk about fucking, you know, Kotori and Data Land, be like, oh, these muscles are only possible because she's 13 years old. It's like, what the fuck did you just say? Archery, decent. Really? Was he conscious? <laughs> yeah, he's not watching, bro. Was zooted out since the moment that Tokyoki sama came out of the womb, bro. He is not conscious. Tokyoki-sama,やりましたな。こう見えて、弓は結構やらされたもん。Okay, <laughs> So we're gonna learn from him? What? Hold the fuck up. As soon as we ask, like, oh, we need some archery master, the dude shows up, but he's a villain. Interesting. The first to display the Kojo plan. And that's another thing too, I just realized. Like, how could he possibly teach the Tokyuki if we know who Tokyuki is, right? That's just like a meaty giveaway. It's like, why would you fucking denounce it? Like, why would you disclose? You know, we gotta keep him hidden. What those eyes yeah, he's definitely not gonna be your fucking master. That was a dumb fucking idea. But like, okay, so like, we are hiding them. This is not gonna be good, but I'm sure we got secret and hidden, you know, I don't know, underground bases or some shit to keep them hidden. Good lie, good lie. Oh my god. What? What? Bro! Like, at a certain point, there is like different obstacles obscuring the vision, but you just have x ray vision. Dude, any more harder he tries to see, those eyes are gonna fucking blast off like fucking Yuji on SAO. Bro, at this rate, I think he can start to fucking hear with those eyes. Like, what can't those eyes do? Bye. Shika! Shika? He's about to hunt the Shika! Where's he shooting? Dude, pointing it exactly at- That's fucked up. It was not an actual deer, it was just a fucking metaphor. What'd he say at the end? About something clipping the ear, if you catch a deer with the split ear, it's good luck. Dude, this guy fucking sucks. I mean, the accuracy is amazing, but like, what a piece of shit. I can't wait to get revenge. I wonder what Tokyuki is thinking. You can't really see his eyes at all right now, though, huh? Sakai-sama, Nueba tsunai to waratte ta kedo. Ogasawara Sadamune wa tenka ni kikoeta yumi no me onsatsu ga. That was very shitty. What are you thinking, bro? Yeah. But his skills are legit. That's what he was thinking when the girl got her ears clipped. He was like, wow, such art. Alright. 
<laughs> Everything is just fucking working according to his plan, huh? Fucking eyes in here. He'll be used as a great general in the future. All right, but who's the sensei gonna be? The instructor? Cause like that archery guy. Does he even know who Tokyuki looks like? I don't think so. Maybe we can lie. Have some kind of disguise. Because to learn that skill and to steal it would be fucking amazing. <laughs> Yep, hide identity. <laughs> That's just the decree. You can't it's gonna be dangerous. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Like, right? Someone's gonna take a screenshot of this and say some shit in Japanese that I don't wanna know about. It's gonna go viral. I don't wanna click the fucking translate on the tweet. You know what's gonna happen on the internet. Dog shooting competition? <laughs> bro literally talks with his eyes, bro. Like, holy shit, just chill. I can't wait for those eyes to pop out of the socket one of these days. <laughs> those eyes do protrude a lot. You think that eye could penetrate? Like, when he's making love. You think he uses his eyes? Like, I wonder how far the eyes can pop out. What the fuck is a dog shooting competition? Who's that? Toralius. Yuki Toki. Oh, Oh, Nisama. Alright, alright. Alright, little sis. You can't say Onisama blush and run away like that. Come on now. Oh, it's him, okay. Why the fuck are you looking all kawaii here, bro? What is this background? Mm. Oh, <laughs> okay, fucking Uchiha Madara. Look at the eye animation. <laughs> Thank fucking god. Cause like, already, Loki, I was about, to, if they killed a dog, I probably would have dropped this show. I, I don't care how accurate it is the historical context. This is so fucking barbaric. What the fuck are you doing? You let a bunch of stray dogs out for sport and you're shooting at them? This is fucking fun to you? What kind of fucking retarded society is this shit? Now I'm gonna get cancelled by fucking ancient Japanese fucking lore masters. This shit is barbaric. I don't give a fuck whatever the times were different back then. This is fucking disgusting. <laughs> like, I don't care if it's a stray dog. It's still a fucking dog. Like, why are you doing this with fucking dogs? This is weird. <laughs> All right, time to break the fourth wall and do a little bit of defense on, you know, how he's basically just like admitting that, yeah, this shit's fucked up. Please, anime people, don't cancel us in the modern day. Yeah, I get it, I get it. Back in the day, things were fucking different, okay. <laughs> No, no one is shocked. 
He's such a fucking attention whore. You knew you'd be number one. You fucking showed up without being invited. Now you're just like, wow, everybody, are you shocked? No. Do we have any contestants on our side? What's the plan? We're just backing out? We're in? Who's competing? Even here, when he's doing this, the eyes are able to protrude beyond. He's peeking while covering his eyes. Not unless we win. <laughs> He's an absolute vile piece of shit, but like, you know, the facial emotions are pretty funny. So you tell me that this kid that just watched the entire time is suddenly going to be able to use archery on the level of him? Well, already you could see that his base level of archery is pretty good, right? That was explained in the intro half. So let's see how well he can combat now. Chojumaru, not only someone. Oh, okay, this is better. <laughs> I wonder if Tokiyuki can like dodge doing some matrix shit as the arrow approaches him. Oh, Tokiyuki-sama, Cool new skill. Name technique. Name technique incoming. Hey, 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 like, Cloverworks knows how to integrate CGI into their works. Like, Failure Frame does not know. There's been also other sides where, you know, the other dude was riding on a horseback. It's very fast and very abrupt, but the transition is not a whiplash. Kozo. <laughs> He didn't do anything. Yeah, the fuck? It's actually pretty funny that this like late 30s, maybe 40s man is having personal beef with like a fucking 10 year old right now. No, stop shooting the dogs! That's right, that's better, that's better. Ooh, well okay. This whole fight is just in CGI, huh? Huh, okay, that's pretty interesting. I mean, I guess it is the best way to like... Have they ever done 2D horseback riding fights before in different types of anime? Because, like, obviously, it's better for them to use CGI to save resources. It's not as jarring as I expected. It definitely looks different compared to the 2D animation. But because they're not flip-flopping back and forth between 2D and 3D, it's pretty permissible. Okay. No, don't shoot a dog! No! Really? <laughs> okay. 
if the red dog only gets his treat, if he gets hit, then I guess we gotta hit him. This is a funny way of justifying animal cruelty right now. <laughs> You tell me that was like a 160 kilometer patch, pitch, sorry. That was that, and then now this one is the spe speed of a fucking train? If he does, that's our chance. That's a very smart tactic, because like at the end of the day, stuff like this is just all mental mostly, right? It's like performance. So like if he's tilted, then he can't do it. Wait! He's not tilted? Hold up! This is some experience. Oh, okay, sure. Thank you for the epic narration. Yeah, that commentary is fucking amazing. Get him the fucking mic. He is uh, literally the commentator of this fucking match. その武芸は五代五天皇からも絶賛され良いと大勢だ武士は皆小笠原を手本とすべし帝自ら<笑><笑> Oh, that was a fucking him a fucking pussy right now, but he's like a ten-year-old kid. Of course any kid would think like that. Game of tag. No, hold, let him cook, let him... What? Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? This is fun? He's into it! Okay, hold up! I didn't realize! <laughs> He's got the warrior spirit. And that's today's episode of the Elusive Samurai. Damn, I wanted this match to fucking finish. They gave us a cliffhanger. But the cliffhanger was pretty great. I thought that Tokiyuki would shy away from this, you know, battle and start panicking. But somehow... It's starting to excite him, and when he gets more Waku Waku, then it's gonna be much more enthusiastic about this. What was the point of today's episode? We got to learn about this archery dude, and he is like the governor of this new place by the Empress Decree, and he's kind of going directly against the Sua Clan, which is us right now. His eyeballs protrude so much, and low-key, he's kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie. Something about his eye, just the whole animation, like, he's a pretty funny guy. I can definitely acknowledge that he's an evil piece of shit. But at the same time, he's very skillful and he's pretty funny. And I hope that his eye socket, like by trying to use this vision so much, I hope the eye just like literally blows out of his socket. The dog competition, <sighs> you know how it is. Back in the days, it was a bit different. And of course, this is fucking vile, but it's just different fucking times. And next episode looks like we're gonna get a wrap up of this little battle where Tokyuki will learn a new name technique as he prophesies and What's it gonna be? We'll find out next time. But hey, if you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for even more content, and until next time, take care.